Asia finally has a top airline. I mean, yet another one. On the home continent of Singapore Airlines, Cathay Pacific, Thai Airways, ANA and EVA, there is now a small chic edition, Starlux Airlines from Taiwan. While the intercontinental flights only go to California, which of course has been the most talked about, 90% of the fleet only flies around Asia and even though the regional business class is exceptional, I have a feeling that flying on economy class could also be really worthwhile here. We'll find out whether that's the case on a flight from Hanoi to Taipei. After checking in our luggage, let's check out the Songhong Business Lounge, which you can access without a business class ticket if you have a priority pass. The lounge is well stocked with food and drinks, and at least the wine cooler still reveals Vietnam's former socialist contacts within today's European Union – Hungarian sparkling wine. There are golden sinks and Japanese toilets, and hidden in a corner, there is some relaxation waiting for me. And off we go onto our brand new plane. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello my dear ones from aboard a brand new Airbus A321 on the equally brand new airline of Taiwan, Starlux Airlines. We are flying from Hanoi to Taipei. The flight takes about two and a half hours and I opted for economy class because I think this is a really, really interesting product, especially for a shorter flight. And I mean, they call themselves already five star airline. So I think, or at least that's where they want to go to. So I think this is really interesting to check out. Of course, their business class is really spectacular too. For a narrow body uh, plane you have a really very beautiful business class but on a two and a half hours flight the surcharge of uh, $550 is maybe a tiny tad too much. Please enjoy the flight with us. Thank you. The Starlux call sign that the tower uses to call the plane is Star Walker. Therefore, the animated actors in the safety video are just appropriate. And we're taxiing to the runway. Well, upon boarding, we got offered nothing. There's no wet towel service or something like that, which you sometimes get even in economy class in Asia. Then there's some headsets on the seat. They're nicely padded, so they're comfortable on the ear. And they're also quite useful because here they have a real decent entertainment system with a nice high resolution TV screen in the seat in front of you. Then the seats, of course, are very new because because this plane is just uh, less than a year old. They got delivered in October 2022. So the seats are equally new. And uh, you see there's also a nice uh, support for your neck on the seat, like on long haul flights. So altogether it's a really nice seat. And I'm really curious what's gonna happen during the flight, because I think they have a good product, but let's see. And just 30 minutes into the flight, it's becoming already clear that this is the good airline that I expected it to be. Lunch service is pretty impressive. It's um, more than I sometimes saw on long haul flights, to be honest. There's a really large portion of uh, main course, and there's an appetizer, which is a salad, and then there's some fruit, and there's a real dessert, kind of a cake. There's some bread and butter and some rice crackers. Then there was a selection of white or red wine, some of course soft drinks, and you have spirits, and they even have a signature cocktail. Wow. 
Our flight takes us in two and a half hours from Hanoi via Nanning and Guangzhou, the bay between Macau and Hong Kong and the Pescadores Islands to Taipei in Taiwan. And while eating, what could be nicer than listening to the sufferings of Paris Hilton? Oh, a lot of things. Well, yeah, it's good that there's a large selection of alternatives to watch. On the HD screen, there's a variety of films and TV series, as well as games and music. And the system reacts like none in my career as a passenger really fast. There's Wi-Fi on board and you can also browse through the menu and drink list on the screen. If you like this and the well over 100 flight and travel reports on the two Traversing Flight channels then please give me a thumbs up, comment on the video and subscribe to the channel with the little bell next to it to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the exciting videos that are released here. You'll help the channel with all its free content to grow and become more visible. Keep looking around Traversing Fly, there's for sure a few more reports that are just the right ones for you. It's so great to have you here. As I said in the beginning, this Airbus A321 is brand new. It was delivered in October 2022, along with the new seats, of course. So everything is tippy toppy, brand new. And um, altogether, the fleet has 20 planes at the moment. Most of them are narrow body planes like this one from the Airbus 320 family. But they also have, I think, uh, some Airbus 330 and especially the newest ones, the Airbus A350. And it looks like they're um, heading towards maybe the One World Alliance and because they already have a partnership with Alaska Airlines which is a member of One World Alliance since quite short while ago. So it might happen that this year will also join the One World Alliance. So we will see what is going to happen with this airline in the near or further future. The plans are big. Well, um, lunch was as good as expected, or I hoped for, and I mean, um, Taiwan is not a total low-cost country where you can say, well, everybody gets so little money, there's money left for uh, some food and beverages. No, they also have quite a high standard and um, still make it uh, for food and beverages for all the passengers, not just in premium class. And as a passenger, I clearly prefer this um, food and this kind of beverage service over an undefined dry sandwich with something undefined inside that might be edible or not. Now Taiwan is home to three internationally working airlines with a quite high reputation. The newest one of course is Starlux Airlines now, but also since many years there's EVA Airways, a really, really good airline with a very high reputation since many years. And then there's China Airlines, they also have like a five, four, four to five star airline reputation at the moment, but they used to have not such great press. They used to have press that said, well, it's not the safest airline and they had some safety issues, but they're on their way back now also to a really high world-class level. And in a few days I'm gonna fly, then I'm really curious how that's gonna be. It's also great to fly domestically in Taiwan. Uni Air, for example, connects smaller airports in Taiwan at reasonable prices, and like London and Seoul, Taipei also has its own city airport. A flight along the northeastern cliffs of Taiwan is great and will also be part of my Taiwan reports here on the channel. 
I know Taiwan already since quite a few years because I think 15 years ago already I sang my first concert there in the National Concert Hall, a very nice concert hall in the center of Taipei. And since then I returned a couple of times. I also recorded a CD there, I think Kamina Burana and some Stravinsky. And there were really very nice concert memories now with that attached for me. And I'm very happy now to be returning to Taipei, even though this time I'm not going to sing there, just visiting as a tourist. Taiwan is also a fantastic tourist destination, completely underestimated, uh, with so many things to see. Beautiful high mountains, gorgeous forests, beaches, highly, highly developed cities, especially ta Taipei, but also the others. Then you have this high-speed train, really fantastic, going up and down the island. And and of course you have the hot springs because everything here is volcanic like Japan. This is earthquake country and with it come lots of hot springs so that's nice too. And then you have fantastic, fantastic food all over the country. And not just bubble tea which conquered the world from here or this biggest oyster of my life. At Starlux everything was included but of course I always have banknotes and my most important cards on me both at home and when traveling in my extra smart wallet. And you can also get an extra at high discounts using the link in the video description. Light and stylish, it's perfect for traveling, it protects your credit cards from data theft and above all you can track it down anywhere in the world at any time using the GPS tracker card. And if you're like me constantly looking for your phone, you can make it ring by pressing the card and find it right away. The smart Smart wallet is available in various designs, colors and materials such as aluminum, leather, vegan synthetic leather, carbon fire and in a special edition with 18 karat gold plating. You'll always get the best discount through my link but until the end of 2023 there's an incredible up to 55% discount on all extra products via the link in the video description. Enjoy shopping! And we're approaching Taipei. Now, how was this flight? First of all, the ratio of price and value is really good for the passenger. I paid $130 for this two and a half hours flight. Included are 23 kilos of luggage, uh, plus seven kilos of hand luggage, and the famous personal item. In my case, that was a laptop bag. Now we got some really nice lunch, a lot to eat, uh, main course appetizers and dessert. Then there was beverages, including wines and even a signature drink and then there's really good entertainment the same entertainment as they have on the long-haul flights and then I got even a little card some cards playing cards so all together a really nice experience for two and a half hours hard to beat and also the other airlines didn't beat the price anyway I would have chosen Sardox because I want to see how they do it here um, and but also it was uh, the cheapest non low-cost airline for that connection so all together really good experience and of course recommended really good Like all high-speed trains in Taiwan, also the fast train to the airport goes all the way on high stilts from the airport into the city center. I hope you really like the report. If yes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That's always free and you're going to be rewarded with really great reports here on the channel. So see you again very soon here at Travel Sing Fly.